Hello, EU4 players. My name is Terry. Today, I'd like to show you my World Conqueror video, which I believe is the fastest World Conqueror in game time in the world. It's 1495 now. It took me 50 years, less than 51 years, to achieve the World Conqueror. The version is 1.31.5. I use Aurat, normal difficulty. Iron Man. As you already noticed, I added the Chinese translation mode, which is compatible to Iron Man. By the way, if you know Chinese, you can check my another video with the same content in my native language. I leave the link in my following description. So let's talk about how I make it. Again, I used Chinese translation mode, so hope you can still recognize these countries. Overall, there are three stages. Stage 1, from the beginning to 1470. The goal is to become HIE Emperor and get privilege revoked. Stage 2, from 70 to 84. I had three batches of total war. After that, I conquered all of the countries in Asia and Europe continent and North and East Africa. Also in stage 2, I changed tax 19 times just from various of new countries and get buff from their new mission trees. In the end of stage 2, I formed Mongolia Emperor. Stage 3 is from 85 to 95 just conquer the rest of the world. Let's see more details in the timeline. At the beginning, the main force go to the west, another force attack Mongolia to complete mission tree. Wait until the new ruler on board, then attack Ming to trigger the two more crises. In 62, I conquered Kola this province and move my capital here. The reason is first, it's a precondition to move your capital to Europe to become the HIE Emperor. And second, this province belongs to Western Europe subcontinental. So my province in Eastern Europe subcontinental and here are eligible to join and remove from the trade company, which will accelerate the HIE reform. We can talk that separately. At the same time, attack Lithuania, Poland, and Hungary to get bored to Habsburg. Convert to Catholic through religion rebels. Secure the electors ticket through allies, royal marriage, and then attack Habsburg. To make it, as my tributary. When it becomes the tributary, it will trigger the HIE Emperor re-election and I will become the Emperor. Here I used a method I called Lambda Plus that takes me only six less than six months after become Emperor and part to pass the privilege revoke. Some of you might already know the Lambda Revoke. I learned that from a YouTuber called Lambda XX. I think he's quite brilliant. I made a little improvement on that to make it even quicker. So I call it, that's why I call it Lambda Plus. In summary, in 1470, I became the HI Emperor, passed the Privilege Revoke, and ready to start the Vassal Spawn. So in stage 2, there are three batches of total wars. The first total war from 70 to 74. So at the end of the total war 1, I conquered the uh, northern Italy, this area, and the hordes and countries in Eastern Europe, and also attacked me. After that, I switched tag to 
Manchuria and then to Bavaria. Yes, as a horse, you can also form Bavaria. And it has a very powerful mission tree. And as a HRE Emperor, with all the HRE members as your vassal, it's very easy to complete Bavaria's mission tree. The stage 2 starts from 76 and end in 79. So, in stage 2, I conquered all the Europe except England and Ottoman. Those two are my allies in uh, Total War 2. The Persian subcontinental conquered parts of Arabian and Mamluk. I also conquered the Southeast Asian, Major of Min, and Korea. As you can see, I have already released many vassals. Here, I used a method I, I called the Night King approach to release this vassal. Just like the Night King in the Game of Thrones, everyone he killed, he can make as his own vassal immediately. So, it's not normal vassal, it's a vassal also within HRE. That's big difference. So first, they don't count as your diplomatic relations, their independence is easy to control, and most importantly, just by forming HRE at the end, I can inherit all these vassals immediately. So, I keep releasing vassals, HRE vassals, to save the administrative capacity, and also create more and more countries to join my vassal spot. After the Total War II, I formed uh, Gold Horde, Timur, and Sin. Then come to the Total War III from 81 to 83. It's actually become quicker and quicker. So after Total War III, I conquered all countries in Asia, Europe, North Africa, and East Africa. After that, I changed tags 14 times. First, I formed Jurassarian because only by forming Jurassarian I can become a long horde government. Then that, that's feasible to form many other countries like Scotland, England, France, Morocco, Tunis, Poland, Croatia, Persia, Delhi, Odisha, Dayue, etc. And finally, I become Great Yuan, keep its national ideas, and form Mogonia Emperor. So change back to the original Horde government. Also in stage two, I've already entered the new world, like South American here, Mexico, and North American here. And in stage three, just need to conquer all of them. The stage 3 is actually not boring but frustrating because there's a bug, I think, paradox brought with their new native government mechanism. That's a very frustrating or stupid bug. So for all these native countries, as long as they don't settle down and only have one province, every time you annex them, they will change. They will uh, migrate to the adjacent province immediately and keep the truce with you. So if you keep, if you break the truce, conquer them again, they'll move again, conquer again and move again. So only you have to surround it first and then conquer it. That will really make them disappear. That's really frustrating. And uh, in the middle stage of stage two, I found another much better way. Basically, you, I sell a new province to them to make them two provinces. Then they, can, they cannot play the tricks anymore. So you just break the 
choose and conquer them again. That done. But I just found that in the middle of the stage two. So that makes the later game much easier. If I know that earlier or replay that, I think it's feasible to make the world conquer two or three years earlier. But anyway, I think 1495 or 50 years is also quite good. So if we replay the timeline in the fastest speed again, it will actually take only eight seconds to get the world conquer. Yeah, every time, everything in eight seconds. So that's all. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe, like and forward. If you have any questions, please also leave that in the comment. Uh, if many, any people, many people have the same questions, I'll um, post more, more videos to introduce these details, like the Lambda Plus revoke, the Night King approach, etc. Okay, that's all. Thank you.